Professor Kivutha Kibwana is serving his second term in office as the governor for Makweni. And because of his transformational agenda for the people of Makweni, because of his humility, and because of tangible development projects in Makweni County, most Kenyans believed that Professor Kivutha Kibwana was the right prescription for the presidency in 2022. And indeed, most Kenyans were actually willing to contribute money to his campaigns. And Professor Kivutha Kibwana then declared his bid for the presidency in 2022. And he has done that several times. But from the latest development we are witnessing within the political scenes, I can predict that Professor Kivutha Kibwana is likely to join William Samoy Ruto for the purposes of 2022 general election. And because of that, the allies of Raila Molodinga and the allies of President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta are actually worried. So today I want us to look at the alliance between Professor Kivutha Kibwana and William Samoy Ruto and what it means for President Ruhu Kenyatta and Raila Molodinga's camps. But before we do that, if you are watching this video for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Now let us get back to the main issues. I have always opined on this platform that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything in politics is normally designed to achieve specific political objectives. There are, no, there are no coincidences in politics. There is no way that last month in September, the Deputy President William Samoy Ruto planned to attend a church function in Nairobi, and Professor Kibutha Kibwana also planned to attend the same church function in Nairobi. There is nothing like coincidence. That meeting was planned to achieve specific political objectives. Professor Kivutha Kibwana explained that the guy who was being installed as the bishop, presiding bishop, was a long-time friend. Uh, kwa uh, presiding uh, bishop, kwa bishop mpia na familia ya bishop wote, kwa deputy president wa republic ya Kenya na kwa sisi sote wale tumekuja kumwabudu Mungu na uh, kuwa present katika installation ya Joshua uh, Bishop Joshua. Uh, mimi pamoja na Adelina Mwao Deputy Governor wa Makueni ni rafiki <laughs> ni rafiki sana wa Bishop uh, Kimuyu Na tumefanya kazi nyingi sana huko makueni. Safari ya mwisho tulikutana katika tuki uh, jenga kanisa wote. I think the biggest sanctuary perhaps. It's going to be the biggest sanctuary ya AIC katika Kenya and Zima. And we really love this man of the Lord. And we congratulate you. But I want to assure you. There was no way it was a coincidence. Let's assume the first meeting was a coincidence. Yesterday, Professor Kivutha Kibwana left McQueen and traveled all the way to Machakos. At the same time, the duty president also played the system by cheating them that he was going to go to Mumias and purposed to attend another function in McQueen, in Machakos. The governor for Machakos, Alfred Mutua, was nowhere during that event. In an ideal situation, if Professor Kibutha Kibwana wanted to attend that function, the first person who would have received him was actually Alfred Mutua. But in this case, Alfred Mutua was nowhere. Tells you one thing, that even the meeting yesterday was not by coincidence. It was planned. I want you to listen very briefly before we proceed to Professor Kivota Kibwana. Lakini katika hao mafunzo na katika Biblia Kanisa ya Kwanza First Century Church 
walikuwa wanaabudu wakijificha walikuwa wanaabudu wakifuatiliwa na wa Romans sasa tutarudi hapo iwe kwamba tukisikia wewe unakuja kanisani tuogope jinsi hata mimi nilikuwa najiuliza sasa leo kuna wakati bishop alikuwa ana consecratiwa ziwani bishop rafiki yangu sana wa makueni nikaja hapo wakasema huyu sasa yuko na ruto haya leo nimekuja kusema jambo hili nimesema kwamba tunahitaji katiba yetu ifuatwe tunahitaji haki zetu zifuatwe sasa itasemekana tena safari ya pili huyo mtu ke bwana ameonekana na ruto kwa hivyo huyo ni mtu wa ruto ni lini mtu akawa wa mtu mwingine isipokuwa sisi ni watu wa Mungu and because the duty president has done nothing in terms of democracy reforms and even the freedom of the republic of kenya he joined politics in 1992 And during that time people like Professor Kivutha Kibwana were outside there fighting for the freedom of the Republic of Kenya. He joined it and through Youth for Kanu. The history of Youth for Kanu is well documented in this country. And after that the new president became member of parliament. He was appointed minister and from that moment up to now he is now one of the top presidential contenders in this country. So his his ticket lacked credibility in terms of reforms for democracy the freedom fight for freedom and the rest so by capturing in by bringing in on board professor kivutha kibwana as his running mate the dg president is going to cure that i want to use the example of nairobi in 2017 in nairobi mike sonko was running mike sonko was the clear favorite and because jubilee party wanted to win at all cost they realized that the other candidate were not going to stop Evans Kidero so and because Kenyans most Kenyans believe that Sonko was not the right material the system then gave that ticket credibility by pairing Mike Sonko with Polycap Igade so Polycap Igade was supposed to be the guy who was going to run the, the government while Sonko was going to play the politics that's exact credibility the duty president is going to get via this ticket So that's number one. Number two is the Kamba votes. I am sure the duty president William Samuel Ruto and his team, the strategist, have sat down and worked on the tyranny of numbers. And they've realized that if they are not careful, then they are not going to have the numbers, especially with the anticipated betrayal by President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Which means the duty president must get votes from other other parts of the country that's why he has been focusing his attention in western kenya that's why he's been uh, been uh, focusing his attention in uh, kisi and at the coast but there's also the kamba votes kamba votes belongs to kalonzo musyoka kalonzo musyoka is going to be a presidential candidate he's delivered the votes to raila molodinga twice now the question is assuming the duty president now nominates Professor Kivutha Kibwana as his running mate. Would that change the equation in Cumberland? I am sure yes, it's going to change the equation. Because remember in Cumberland there are always two camps. There are those camps which are opposed to Kalonzo Musyoka. In the last election all the three governors from Machakos from from Kambani none of them was a preferred candidate of Kalonzo Musyoka. Professor Kivutha Kibwana won the first term on his own political party gilu won on his her own political party alfred mutua also won as alfred mutua on, on his uh, mandela chap chap party so there's a chance that if these three governors if professor kibola kibwana will manage to bring on board all these three gov governors and deliver them to ruto then the chance of ruto getting a huge chunk of Kamba votes is going to be important. Remember, the duty president in his attempt, attempt to win over the Kambas has actually reached out to to Johnston Mudama, the former senator from Machakos. Johnston Mudama is expected to finance 
most of the act political activities in that region. So let us wait and see how it's going to pan out. But I think the duty president is focusing on Kamba votes because he expects that the Kikuyus might not vote for him the way they voted for President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And because the results, the numbers were announced by the Daily Nation sometimes back, and I insist on that, the duty president is not trying to reach out to Kamba votes. So that's number three. Number four is service delivery. Professor Kibutha Kibwana, his record is well documented. Jubilee government has failed. The duty president has been trying so hard to dissociate from Jubilee government. Assuming he's going to dissociate himself from Jubilee government successfully, it would only mean one thing. That the it would only mean one thing that Professor Kibutha Kibwana is going to be considered as someone who has delivered. If the duty president will dissociate with the Jubilee Party, it would mean that the failures of Jubilee Party will be on President Rukunyata. So the duty president will come as someone who delivered in Jubilee Party or who was hindered from delivering from Jubilee Party. And just because on the just because on the account of uh, just because of the record, track record of Professor Kibutha Kibwana when it comes to service delivery, that will be transferred to Ruto Kibwana ticket. Number five is a big blow to the Building Bridges Initiative, BBI. Professor Kibutha Kibwana has been at the forefront in pushing for the Building Bridges Initiative. In fact, he's been the leading campaigner for the Building Bridges Initiative campaigns. And because the duty president is opposed to the Building Bridges Initiative, it means Professor Kevotha Kibana will now be opposed to it. And now because Kenyans, because the Railo Dinga and Uru Kenyatta will need Governor Kibwana, if the deputy president will win him, it would mean other governors might also decide to oppose the Building Bridges Initiative. Remember, there are so many governors in this country who are supporting the Building Bridges Initiative process, not because they like it, but because of the fear that probably they are, they are, they are, uh, they are, they are, their hands are not very clean when it comes to corruption. I mean, but Professor Kibutha Kibwana, I believe, could be clean or is clean. I don't think it's tainted the way the other governors are. And I want you to listen to him giving a hint on his next move. Mimi kama moja wa wale tulipigania katiba hii ya 2010 katika ujana wetu atufurai kwa sababu tunaona kwamba hii katiba inadharauliwa hila hali tunaelezwa kwamba inatakikana katiba hii ibadilishwe hikiwa katiba ile iko haipewi heshima hiyo ingine tunaambiwa ibadilishwe itapewa heshima na ni mpaka sisi sote kama wa Kenya tuseme tunataka katiba yetu ipewe heshima kwa sababu mwanzo Mungu pili watu na katiba yao na mimi nikisema hivyo nimekuja hapa katika kanisa hii katika madhabahu nikisema hivyo sina uoga kwa sababu nilipokuwa kijana asiyojua mambo mengi nilijua jambo la kila mkenya ni msawa na mkenya mwenzake na haki ziwe za kila mtu it is absolutely essential jinsi former chief justice alisema dr mutunga akasema hata akiwa he doesn't agree with any kenyan he must defend the right of that kenyan kabisa and lastly i think professor kibutha kibwana william ruto ticket is going to reinforce the hustler narrative that will be a purely hustler ticket william ruto's father is not known I don't know where he was when the rest of their peers were fighting for freedom or whatever, but the father is not known. Professor Kibutha Kibwana's father is also not known. What you know is that Kibutha Kibwana was a professor, fought for the democracy, fought for the liberation of this country. He became a minister under Kibaki. He became a governor. That's all we can remember about Professor Kibutha Kibwana, not the father. So his success cannot be attributed to the father. 
So which means that ticket of Professor Kevutha Kebwana and the ticket of William Samuel Ruto would now be the real hustler ticket. Assuming Raila Odinga will be contesting for the presidency and Raila Odinga then opt for a ticket. So Raila Odinga's father was the vice president of the Republic of Kenya, although only for three years. Then it would mean they can easily attack that ticket. The other person who is likely to contest for the presidency is Musalem Mdabadi. The father was a cabinet minister. Of course, he was also a hustler, but rose to become an education officer, later on a member of parliament. The other guy could be, the other guy could be Gideon Moy. Unless that Raila Odinga Uhuru Kenyatta ticket is going to front someone else, say, France, Frank, I mean, say Fred Okengo Matiangi. Otherwise, without that, the ticket of uh, William Ruto and Professor Buta Kibwana is actually going to reinforce the hustler narrative. I want to ask you a simple question. Do you think that ticket can win the presidency for William Samuel Ruto in 2022? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And again, if you're watching this video for the first time, I want you to just take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Thank you guys and please may you enjoy your day.